Wise, finally. Come here. What's going on? Uh, you mean these bags? They're full of broken signal transmitters that came from Bangboo. When put together, they're equivalent to several low-frequency signal jammers. With these, we can talk freely without worrying about Big Brother over there. Yeah, I mean that AI, Barry. Look, bro, we really need to talk about her. I wanted to talk to you about her, too. I thought with her calling you master all the time, she'd have you fooled. But seeing your total seriousness makes me feel relieved. It's been a while since we let Fairy participate in our proxy work. And she's independently calculated all the escape paths you've used in the hollows lately. I'm sure you've noticed. She didn't depend on any local data, nor did she ask for any support. But she's still 270 times faster than us when generating escape paths. It's not like she doesn't need any hollow data. She does. It's just that she can access the data she needs almost instantly. Remember how she mentioned she can access over 80% of the smart devices in the city? Looks like she was telling the truth. So like, if we could only glimpse a corner of the hollow before, now thanks to her, we can see the entire thing. But... But Faithin's proxy account is gone. Even if we can become better proxies ourselves, it'll be hard to get back to the level we were at before. Mm. This is really important. But right now, I want to talk to you about this fairy problem. Fairy's powers are something the elites of New Eridu would all kill for. This is way too hot for us to handle. And when she forced you to become her master, she said that you should bide your time and wait for the opportunity to complete the agreement with her, but refused to reveal anything further. Something just doesn't feel right. But if we can make use of her abilities, we might finally get some leads on what we've been investigating. Our teacher's lifelong dream just might. Yeah. Anyway, we need to figure out where Fairy came from. There's no rush, of course. Let's take it slow. At least she's really good at staying hidden, so we don't need to worry about hackers like last time. Didn't you ask the Cunning Hairs to help investigate all this? How's that coming along? There's not been much progress, I'm afraid. Nicole got the Strongbox mission from an anonymous subcontractor. They didn't get to meet anyone related to the commission. She said she was gonna try looking into the Red Fang Gang a few days ago, but I've not heard back since. I doubt they'll find anything concrete. Let's just hope that they don't get themselves into any trouble. They're good at making mountains out of molehills. <sighs> okay, we've talked enough about this for today. Let's leave it at that. You've been so busy improving our reputation on the proxy network and running the video store lately, dude. Let's just chill out and watch some TV tonight.
the municipal election is approaching, the high-profile civil construction project to renovate the old Capital Metro is now officially underway. It's our honor to interview Mr. Charles Perlman, the chief representative of the contracted company, The Vision Corporation. Later today, Vision will be carrying out explosive demolitions near the old Capitol in a metro reconstruction area commonly known as Canvas Street. Could you give us a rundown on the process? <laughs> Good question, young man. After the fall of the old capital, a number of damaged metro lines severely hindered the accessibility and urban development of New Eridu. To solve this problem, the deteriorating remnants of the old metro must be completely removed, followed by the construction of a completely new metro. Despite the cost, Vision has ordered a large quantity of high-purity industrial ether explosives for this operation. I see, but there's currently no way to pass between Canvas Street and the city, right? How does Vision plan to transport the explosives? <laughs> Correct. But Vision always looks to the future. Take a look at this electronic map. We're currently located at the Demolition Command Center at the entrance to the Dead End Hollow. And the red area on the map is the Demolition Zone. The tunnel from New Eridu to the Demolition Zone has been completely consumed by that very Dead End Hollow. However, some metro lines within this hollow are still intact. So we decided to use a special train to transport the explosives through the hollow. We were very careful to avoid any ethereals and finally managed to transport most of the explosives to the demolition zone. <laughs> Don't worry, they won't explode without a dedicated detonator or a sizable external force. I really wanted to show you around, but to avoid signal interference with the blast, we've had to shield the entire blast area. Currently, only our dedicated frequency band is available for communication. All civilians have been cleared of the area, but communications are still being blocked as a safety measure? Vision has thought of all the details. <laughs> That's right. That's the vision of the Vision Corporation. The well-being of everyone in New Eridu. As we had mentioned a few months ago, the Vision Corporation won the contract for the old Capital Metro renovation project. By promising to complete the contract in less time and at a reduced cost, the Vision Corporation won the bid with a significant advantage over the highly regarded Bellabog Industries. Our special correspondent tried to contact those involved at Bellabog, but was unable to conduct an interview. Mr. Perlman, do you have anything to say about this victory over the rising star Bellabog Industries? Well, Bellabog Industries is a respected competitor we can learn from. I'm sure they'll do better next time. So, can you tell us the secret behind your reduced project costs? This shouldn't be... What of the question, should it? Well, what do you mean? This question wasn't included in the outline you sent? Mr. Perlman, we're live right now. What Mr. Perlman means is there's no question of improper cost reduction relating to Vision Corporation. We welcome the scrutiny of all citizens. Mr. Perlman will also be on the demolition site to oversee things till the very end. Exactly! Right! I will soon be joining our technicians to take the train to the surveillance site in the blast zone. The construction site is near a hollow, and they had to relocate all those people. Companies that want to enter the Tops Alliance sure are something else. Alert! Street cameras have identified an unknown person approaching the store at high speed. Speculation! Their video rental is about to expire, or they are plotting against the store. It's just a customer. I'll go get the door. What? That's a strange way to say we've got a customer.
You could give a meowing before opening the door. You sent me flying. Uh, meow? <laughs> Welcome to Sixth Street's greatest video store. Were you looking for a specific video today? The 7710 and his cat film just came in. This sounds interesting. What's that about? Uh, never mind. Uh, now's not the time! I know, you're faithin'. I've got a prophecy commission for you. Sorry, I've got no idea what you're talking about. I think you've got the wrong place. Wait! You don't have to worry about me. My name is Nicomata. Nicole told me to come. I'm not a baddie. Nicole... What Nicole are you talking about? Is she one of our members? Nicole of the Cutting Hairs! The leader of the odd job agency, the Cutting Hairs! Look! This is her bang boo! This is proof, right? Hmm... It doesn't look fake. That definitely is the bang boo Nicole uses. Are you really a friend of Nicole? Where are they now? The place he just mentioned in the news! Vision's Blast Zone! That guy said there was no one inside, but that's a lie! Didn't I just say I hoped they stay out of trouble? Do they have a good reason for being at Vision's construction site? They're looking for something! My commission! The Red Fang Gang are causing trouble! There's been several fights! And so many people! I can't do that! Slow down and take your time. How is Nicole's problem related to canned tuna? Um, well, I don't know where to start. Right, Nicole's Bang Boo! It's got the visual data from the past few days. Just have a look. You'll get what I mean. That would be difficult. Only Nicole, the Bang Boo's owner, can export visual data. And to force access, we'd have to contact the original manufacturer, the Marcel Group. Beep. Perhaps... Fairy knows a way. What's that? Fairy? Uh, nothing. There's nothing like that here. Um... Fairy? Can you help get the Bang Boo data? Question. Is the request to convert this Bang Boo's visual recording into video output? Ah, who's talking? Is there someone else here? Uh, don't mind that. She's just a virtual assistant we newly installed. How about it, Fairy? Can you do it? Processing Bang Boo visual data for the last several days. Please say, I'm stupid. I should have asked sooner. I'm stupid. Not! Nice try! Fairy, the rest is up to you. Establishing Bang Boo connection and reading visual data. <laughs> data read complete. Commencing playback. Whoa, you've got an image. <gasps> Let me see. What you did to Silver? Don't move! <laughs> okay, okay, I won't move. Take it easy, you two. Breathe in, breathe out. I gotta say, don't you think it's unfair? After all, it's the ether corruption that killed your boss, not us cunning hairs. What do you mean? You're risking it all on a mistake. Don't you think you should try thinking for yourself? The cunning hairs' entire savings are in this briefcase. I'll give you half if you pretend you didn't see me today. How about it? Show us the money first. We'll check it ourselves. 
How do you open it? Left four, right seven. It'll open when you hear the click. <laughs> Street kid rule number one. Never trust a stranger. <laughs> and you thought you could take something from me. What about me? <gasps> Street kid rule number two. Never leave your back open. <laughs> that explosion came from over here! Get them! These two idiots got taken out! She couldn't have gone far! Go after her! They almost found us. You're not here to ambush me? You... Uh, you're not with the Red Fang Gang? Well, quite the opposite. I'm as much a victim of theirs as you are. I'm Neko Miyamana, but you can call me Neko Mata. I've got a commission for the coming years. But before that, we need to get out of here. What's taking Nicole so long? Could she have been caught by the gang? I'm confident in Nicole's adaptability. But considering we're being targeted by the Red Fang Gang, things aren't looking too good lately. Ugh, that's right. If it weren't for the manager commissioning us to look into the strong box, I really wouldn't want to go anywhere near these guys' turf again. Billy, do you really have a cold? If you hadn't sneezed earlier and exposed our position, we wouldn't have been forced to split up. Um, the machine oil I'm using now has low fluidity in the cold. So, some of my gears are starting to run slow. You're cold because I bet you weren't wearing enough last night while watching Oh, Sweetie. Uh, Nicole. Boss, you alright? Why are you coming from the direction of the hollow? Oh, and who is this kitten? Name's Nekomata, your new client. Oh, that's our boss for you! Finding work at a time like this! Such a role model! Did you approach Nicole yourself? Don't worry, Envy. If it weren't for Nekomata, I'd still be trapped in the Red Fang Gang's territory. Yeah, come on now. Don't be nervous. I'm on your side. There's something I need to get back from the Red Fang Gang. Several years ago, the Red Fang Gang's leader, Miguel Silver, took an heirloom from my family. I infiltrated their territory to get it back. But I haven't managed it yet! So what you mean is, you want us to get your family heirloom back for you? Hmm, yeah, that won't be easy. The Red Fang Gang might be a mess right now, but as you saw earlier, they've got it in for us because of Silver's death. But let's just say our well-being is not <laughs> their biggest priority. That heirloom is really valuable! <laughs> I'm willing to pay 30% of its value as your remuneration. Depending on the situation, perhaps even 70! Just how much is it worth exactly? Nicole, sorry for interrupting. Considering how dangerous the job is, I think it'd be better to confirm the sincerity of the client rather than the fee. My sincerity is as boundless as mackerel at an unlimited mackerel buffet! Is that so? But in movies, new companions appearing around the main character at times like this are always being deceitful. Later on, they might turn into scary ghosts or have monsters crawling out of them. There's no monster inside me! D do you want to touch and see? No thanks. Please don't misunderstand. I'm the one whose trust you need to earn. And B's surprisingly not a cat person. <laughs> Wait a minute. I hear footsteps from that alley over there. <sighs> it's the cutting hairs! <laughs> Got you! I'll take you all on! Oh, uh, wait, you're... Oh! Mm. What? Oh, that was close. I didn't expect any Red Fang Gang members to be here. He might have ruined our plan if he made too much noise. Wow! You're good, kitten. Knock that guy out in one hit. Hey, not that right. I took out a Red Fang dude. I'm working hard! Billy, give her a scratch under her chin. Anby, are you satisfied that Nekomata is sincere now? 
it was a clean hit, but the guy's reaction was... <sighs> he seemed to recognize her. Of course! I've been following them to get my family heirloom! I can't help if they know me by now. At the same time, I also found out about all their hideouts. From what I've seen, the Red Fang Gang has three hideouts where they store important items. And my family heirloom is probably in one of them. There's been a lot of hollow activity recently. Unfortunately, these three hideouts were all swallowed up. The Red Fang Gang doesn't have enough manpower right now, so they're all having trouble getting their stuff out in time. Hmm. I have to admit, it's a good opportunity for us. All right. Nekomata, on behalf of the Cunning Hairs, I accept your commission. You've got information on the Red Fang Gang. Plus, you can fight. So, why don't you come with us for now? Sure! I want to get my family heirloom back as soon as possible! We've got a deal, then. Let's go back and get ready. We'll meet up near the Hollow later. Nekomata just messaged me. She'll be here soon. Nicole, are you really sure about this? There's something... familiar about the way she fights. <sighs> She's got skills only someone involved with the gangs would have. But you're the one to make the call. I'll follow your lead. Andy, I understand how you feel. I was here first, or whatever. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. But either way, no skin off our nose, right? Even if the little kitten has a hidden agenda, nothing gets past me. The Red Fang Gang keeps getting in our way, so it's time to try something different. Don't forget, we still have a mission. We have to help Faithin investigate the Strongbox. No matter what Nekomata and the Red Fang Gang have going on, she's familiar with their hideouts. This is our chance to find out about the Strongbox. And not to mention the substantial commission payment. So why shouldn't we do it? You've thought of everything, boss. I'm back! Sorry for the wait. Did I miss anything? Not at all. We were just saying we should get cracking on the investigation once you're here. So let's get going? I'll show you the way. Let's check out the first hideout. We're in the hollow now. Let's be careful. Don't worry. I know this place inside and out. Just follow me. The Red Fang Gang base isn't far. Just gotta take out a few more materials and we'll be there. Right back at ya! Coming, Bob! <laughs> that they aren't here soon. It's just some old gang junk. Even if we sell it outside, it won't be worth much. Huh, this job ain't worth becoming a monster for. Even if you don't turn into an ethereal, there's no chance of survival outside the hollows if you suffer serious corruption. Ah, <sighs> give it a couple of minutes. There's not much we can do. Things are a mess around here without the boss. Hey, I heard another three guys ran away yesterday. That makes at least 20 who left the gang this week. We ain't the only idiots left working for this mess, right? Eh, who knows? We weren't like this before, dude. 
Remember the days when we had just made a name for ourselves on Canvas Street? We were ambitious and proud. Look at us now. We've got nothing left. I heard our old turf is part of the blast zone, so everything's going up in smoke. Uh, Nekomata! Nekomata! No! Yeah? I called you five times! Is the old gangster gossip that juicy? What they were saying had nothing to do with your family heirloom. Yet, you were listening so intently. Is there any particular reason? That's a strange question. I'm a cat. I get distracted by things all the time. You're keeping a close eye on me, huh, Andy? Uh, forget that for now. Nicole was asking if there's any chance your family heirloom is mixed in with this old junk. I wouldn't rule it out. Those lackeys can't tell what real treasure is, after all. Great! In that case, let's go through the pile and see if there's anything valuable. Uh, uh, um, uh, see if the client's heirloom is in there. Let's roll. We can take out a few guards before the pickup arrives. Old magazine, broken ashtray. Huh? Ew! Smelly socks! Gross! Ugh, what on earth do these gangsters leave in their hideout? Aha! Found it! What'd you find? Nekomata's family heirloom? <laughs> Maybe. If her family heirloom is the most amazingly awesome, epic, shiny Starlight Knight emblem of the last ten years! Consider that from Nekomata. Put that useless piece of metal back. <sighs> Your stupid skin's so hard. You 
hurt my hand. Wear a sweater next time. The kind your mom would knit you to stay warm. It wouldn't hurt him if he's wearing a thick sweater. Good point. No sweater. Um, am I supposed to thank Ambie? Nekomata, how about you? Did you find any clues? Here's something. Let's see what's in this wallet. Seems expensive. <sighs> That's my wallet. You stole it while we were going through the boxes? It seems you were too busy being salty to notice. Hmm? How odd. Why is there a picture of Nicole in your wallet? <sighs> That's a group photo. Give it back, or I'll... Knock it off, you two. Ambie, put the blade down. Nekomana, give the wallet back. Nekomara, we've gone through most of the stuff here, but just showing you the random valuables we find isn't working. What is your family heirloom exactly? Oh, yeah! I can't believe we forgot to ask earlier. Hmm, I might tell if you were another odd job agency. But you're the cunning hairs. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Did I hear that correctly? I checked your reputation on public forums very carefully. Your complaint rate is always in the top three. The first 50 comments all mention that the object had been damaged, or that you caused needless destruction, or stole the item. Stuff like that. Look, they even attach photos. Well, I can't argue with that. But don't be discouraged. I totally believe in the cunning hair's ability, Mia. After all, you did me a big favor. Really? How so? I saw it on the public forms. You lured Silver into a hollow and defeated him all by yourselves. Lured and defeated? We did something that awesome? <laughs> <clears throat> exactly. Even big names like Silver are no match for us cunning hairs. Finding your family heirloom will be a piece of cake. Don't worry. Once we finish the commission, Billy's gonna treat you to a big dinner as a thank you to our generous client. Yay! Dinner's on the ca Wait, why me? Hmm? Remind me, who said they wanted to treat everyone to a big meal at the Starlight Night-themed restaurant the other day? Um, all right. But we have to take a group photo of the four of us doing the Starlight Night flying kick! <sighs> Thanks for inviting me, but I'm afraid I'll have to say no. Huh? Why? I did hear that cat people only eat with people they trust. Didn't that kitty just say we did her a favor? Sorry. I must have overestimated what's between us. Any unusual habits of Thyrins you've heard about are just gossip. I'm just not very interested in superheroes. Plus, I'm a bit picky about my food. I'm sorry. Is that so? In that case, we won't force you. Anyway, What's important is finding Nekomata's heirloom. So, let's get to the next hideout. Nekomata, lead the way. Floor. 
It's some kind of book. <gasps> no, a ledger. A ledger should be important, right? Nicole never showed ours to me. Why are they leaving such confidential stuff lying around? Right now, the Red Fang Gang exists in name only. It'd be a wise choice to get rid of these things if the remaining people wanted to start over with a clean slate. All in all, seems like Nikamata's relic isn't here either. It's not some relic! It's a family heirloom! Why do I feel like you don't have my back? Okay, take a break, guys. Since it isn't here either, let's get ready to head to the next hideout. Which is... The guards already mentioned it. The Red Fang Gang rose to power on Canvas Street. Their last hideout is in the Dead End Hollow nearby. Just follow me! What? What did you just say? The Dead End Hollow? Boss, you know the place? Come on, you must have seen the news, right? The Vision Corporation's old metro renovation project? Aren't they shipping explosives to the blast zone through the Dead End Hollow? Ah, uh, I remember now. Vision had to go through a lot of trouble to ship the explosives because of that infamous ethereal lurking in the hollow. Exactly. I heard they even considered eliminating the Dead End Butcher to make the hollow smaller and to open up a safe route to the blasting zone. But this Butcher thing is really tricky, and it's harder to kill it than to just transport the explosives through the hollow. Nekomara, you never mentioned anything about entering a hollow with an infamous ethereal in it. We have to renegotiate the deal. Uh, of course, the deposit is non-refundable. Meow? Is that so? I thought since I asked the smart, courageous, and righteous cunning hares who defeated the Red Fang Gang in one fell swoop, even going into the Dragon's Den would be no big deal. <laughs> Busting the gang in one fell swoop. <laughs> Seems even the cunning hares are afraid of the Dead End Butcher. Guess I'll have to hire someone else. But it's okay. My family heirloom is crazy valuable anyway, so I can definitely afford to pay their price. Let me check the offline version of the hiring form. Price from high to low. Wait! I never said anything about aborting the commission. What I meant was, we need a professional plan for such a high-risk task. Plus the proper equipment, devices, and all sorts of other professional... Oh, I see. That means you want to increase your fee? No problem. I can increase the commission fee by 20... No, 30%. Is that enough? Okay, deal. Are you sure you want to make such a rash decision, boss? We'll just look for something in the hollow, dummy. It's not like we're going to start fights with ethereals. All we need to do is avoid running into that dangerous dude. It's just the dead end hollow. Since our client wishes it, we'll go check it out tomorrow. No, really? I trust you can buy my family heirloom, yeah? It's just a dead end hollow. Since our client wishes it, we'll go check it out tomorrow. All those meows you add when you talk, Arnett? Uh, of course not! That's just how cat people talk! Meow. Okay, I've got a better idea of the situation now. You and the Cunning Hares were looking for the Red Fang Gang's hideouts, and that's why you went to the Dead End Hollow today. That's right! And then lots of things happened! Anyway, Nicole and the others are in the Blast Zone right now! Master. The news channel is currently broadcasting information that is most likely closely related to the commission. Please watch it. Welcome back! We're now live as the last Vision Corporation train is about to depart and travel through the Dead End Hollow. It's been reported this self-driving vehicle is loaded with the last batch of explosives required for the demolition. Upon arrival of the train, Mr. Perlman, who is at the surveillance point, will personally coordinate the detonation. Only after confirming that everything is in order will Mr. Perlman evacuate with the technicians and return to the command center within the city. Oh no! I can't believe the last train is leaving so early! There's not enough time to finish watching! We have to come up with a way to stop the explosives! Otherwise, Nicole's gonna be blown to the head! How do we stop them? We can't stop the train in full view of the public.
public will be arrested by public security immediately. The safest way would be to report it to public security. But if we do that, the Cunning Hare's identity as Hollow Raiders might be exposed. Proposal. We can intercept the train within the Hollow. <laughs> the outside world can't see what's going on inside, so we don't need to worry about getting caught. Right. If we infiltrate the Dead End Hollow and try to intercept the train along its route, theoretically, it's plausible. Fairy, can you get the real-time location of the train? Affirmative. Calculating a safe route to the target. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We have to find a way to stop it inside the hollow.